What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Forever One Ghost here coming back at you with another awesome Dokkan battle video. Today the World Tournament is here. But also besides the World Tournament, there's a lot to discuss and I want to discuss this with all of you. Now, a lot of you are speculating what's going on in the Dragon Ball Super series or saga, wherever we're going with it right now. Uh, there is some people, well, there are going to be some people that are going to be pissed. Uh, aside from everything else, let, let's get into it right here. Let's get into the World Tournament as well. Let's put a little bit of the World Tournament here while we discuss these things with you awesome, very kind people. Now, what I want to discuss is how a lot of people already know that in episode 116 or episode 116, uh, Goku is going to achieve his limit break, not limit breaker, but his ultra instinct form. Now, people are upset that it's with Kefla. Now... In episode one, uh, 115, I always say 115, 115, 115, but whatever, but you get what I'm saying. Um, he gets put into a corner. Now, if you've seen spoilers or don't want spoilers, don't click on this video. But if you do want spoilers and you want to know what's going on, then I will feel free to inform you. But I've been seeing a lot of posts. I've been seeing a lot of videos. I've been seeing a lot of comments. I've seen so much stuff that I want to discuss it with you. So let's get right into it. Um, in episode 115, he absolutely has to go to his next form, which is Blue Kaioken times 20. Now, a lot of us are expecting to see why he had to go so far towards that limit or why he had to go towards that form so early. But obviously, we all know because Kefla fused with her sister and they, they got incredibly strong. And of course, they went even Super Saiyan. Now, as to what I can confirm for right now, is that that fight is going to be the most important fight in the Dragon Ball Super Saga, I guess, for now, for, for the moment. Uh, a lot of people didn't expect to see Goku go back to Ultra Instinct so quickly. Um, I guess that's why people are so upset about it, is because uh, they're seeing Ultra Instinct Goku at an early time instead of seeing him come out at a time where, like, okay... Let's see when he should show up, and let's see when he should be uh, arriving. But people were upset that this was going to happen so early, and I can somewhat understand why. Um, I guess they wanted to see the Ultra Instinct form come back in the sense of why did it have to be... I guess my biggest concern is why are they upset too? But let me get to my idea of why I think they're upset as well, well which I was going to bring up anyway. But I think that they're upset is because... They wanted to see that power come back once more while he was fighting Jiren. And in some sense, while Jiren was beating him the first time, re-evaluating uh, him, I guess, or Goku was re-evaluating him and trying to test his limits, his powers towards him. Uh, but I think, again, my personal opinion here, I'm not saying that it's fact until the episodes are released, is, and I think this is what's, what's really pissing people off, is that he went Ultra Instinct once more when he was cornered against Kefla. And I think people didn't didn't want that. I think they wanted um, to see Goku go Ultra Instinct against. Uh, I'm gonna safely say go against in uh, Jiren, and I could respect that. I could understand that. I, I I can I can somewhat agree with that. But at the same time, people are upset that it's gonna happen so early. Why not wait a little longer? I guess I feel that that's the problem with the form that they want the form to come out now and they want it to be here and now so that the fighting can start and the biggest fight of all is between Goku and Jiren and um also with Vegeta facing Topo as well and um I think that the biggest thing is that they're upset that it's happening so early I feel um and I I can I can understand and sympathize but at the same time like we all have our expectations for this character we all have our anticipations for this character and of course we wanted to see that form revitalize itself in the fight between Goku and Jiren. Now, I can understand as well why this is coming out so early, and a lot of the chapters in which we've seen in the post and spoilers for tomorrow's episode, where they're going to show Ultra Instinct Goku, I'm 100% sure because they mentioned this in the last post that they did for the spoilers for it. So, if you guys are looking forward for the next episode, leave a like in this video, as well as I am hyped for the next episode. Um, I am just excited to see this fight uh, go into that positioning. I feel like as a fan, I guess I, I kind of sympathize with everybody. 
I kind of agree that I feel like this episode uh, should have waited a little longer. Uh, I feel like, um, but at the same time, um, I think that a lot of things are going to happen and they needed the anticipation to shift. So I feel that that's why they're doing it. Now, I could be wrong and I think that that's maybe the case that could be happening right now. But at the same time, I feel that with that happening so early, happening in the next two episodes, maybe no, in one episode, because now we're going to see episode 115 tomorrow, and we're going to see the fight between Kefla and Goku Blue K.O. Ken times 20. Also, I feel that something big is going to happen. Now, I, I could be wrong, other than the fight between Jiren and Goku. Now, why I say this first is because... Whenever anything happens this early, or even at this ex exceptional time, I feel, um, something is going to happen. And I feel that this something is going to change the shift of what's going on in the Tournament of Power. Now, why Ultra Instinct Goku came out so early at such an... Well, I feel like they could have... I, I think that's why they're so upset. I think that's why they're upset, because that Goku Ultra Instinct is coming back so early. But I want to know how. But people that have seen the post, as I mentioned once more, and maybe I've mentioned it too many times, is that he gets pushed to his ultimate... to his breaking point. And Ultra Instinct reforms. Now, I think in this one, he's going to have control. He's going to realize, oh my god, I have this power. I now know who is in control. Like before, when he was Ultra Instinct, he didn't have a clue. He was just Ultra Instinct, and that's it. He was fighting, and he was fighting Jiren. So I feel that in this episode, he might recognize and say, okay, I know what I'm, what's going on. I, I I feel this power. Whoa. Like, that's what's going to happen when he faces Kefla. Now, Kefla's going to be scared out of her mind because she's facing a, a deity, a being of, of immense power. Now, if you understand what's going on in the episodes, then feel free to comment below and leave your thoughts and theories as to what's what, why you feel that this is happening so early and why are you upset that Ultra Instinct is coming back so early and maybe less than a few episodes. Uh, because when he first used Ultra Instinct, even the guys had mentioned that this this power is is really hard to achieve. And this is 100% true because even the gods themselves said it in the episode where he became Ultra Instinct the first time that that power is very hard to obtain. Now, how Goku was doing it so easily is beyond me. I don't know. I can only speculate as to what's going on and why they mentioned that and so. But obviously, if they're scared of that form, it's for a reason. Now, Goku has the ability to, to quite possibly make the gods fear him because he's much stronger than them. He is much more powerful than them. And I can say in some sense of a safety, um, they're afraid of that form. Because when G when everybody saw that form, especially the gods, they were petrified. Because they thought, how can a normal hu a Saiyan, a, a Saiyan of Earth, obviously with God Key, of course, we all know that. Um, because he was training with Whis and, and the gods up in, in, um, in Beerus' planet, of course. But... Why so early is to, is the same question that keeps coming back. Now, everybody can say, oh, he was waiting for the right opportunity or they felt that this opportunity needed to come quicker because we wanted to see the fight between Jiren and Goku. Now, I can understand that, but here's my biggest thing with it too. Now that he is being pushed to his limit to actually achieve this form a lot quicker in such a quicker time, does that mean... And I, again, this is only me speculating. Does that mean that he'll have a longer period with that power? Now, I couldn't be sure because the last time, that power didn't last long. Because it was merely a, a focus of the spirit bomb energy that he had absorbed. Or more or less, when the explosion came, the energy absorbed itself into him. And he immediately fell Ultra Instinct. And that could be the very case. Now, again, I could be very wrong. And I could be 100% confused by this or maybe even even so wrong about it but i feel that that's what's happening i feel that right now that that he might have a lot more control than he did obviously in the, in the first episode of course uh because why wouldn't he because he now has his full i guess his full power but he has been fighting kefla i think that power only comes in or i'm only again again this is just a, a, a speculation of, of a theory is um i feel that this power only comes when his his body or his energy flow is depleting and he needs another source of power, which is the heat or the energy that's absorbed out of his own body or his reformative uh, like heat energy. I think that's what I'm going to call it, like a, a very powerful heat energy or energy of, of heat that keeps his ultra instinct form out. 
Now, again, I'm only speculating, giving you my theory as to what this power is uh, necessary to, to, to keep it activated as long as it can or how long it should be activated or kept on for, for however his body can maintain it, of course. Um, I feel that if they're going to go somewhere with it, right, and they're going to make sure that this form gets as much time out there as possible because obviously if you're expecting a great fight between Jiren and Goku, they're going to give it to you. And I'm happy to, I'm very happy to see that. But again, I think that's what's pissing people off. I think that they weren't too happy with the fact that k is going to be the one pushing Goku to go back to Ultra Instinct. Now, I think that they wanted Jiren to do that. Now, I can understand why, because we want the strongest of the universe's fighters to really push Goku to that limit so he can continue to surpass his limits. Now, I'm not saying k is not strong, but we've only seen k and maybe one episode or two going in now, which is tomorrow's episode 115, um, 115, pardon me, I keep saying 115, but I keep, it's 115, damn it, um, but so on and so, um, I feel that that's the problem, I feel like people are expecting, uh, a very, like, intense weight, like they did for Super Saiyan, you know, I think that that's what they kind of wanted, they wanted to, I mean, it isn't to say that they, they were going to wait that long for it anyway. They were going to wait a certain time or so, a few episodes in, to make it more hypeable, more uh, intensifying, I guess, if you if you will, if you want to say it like that. Um, if you're a fan and you're expecting Ultra Instincts to come out a little bit less uh, early than, than usual or expecting it to come out a, a, a much sooner time or earlier time or a much later time, then you have a right to be upset. But I think that that's what their plan was. I think that they want this form to come out so that this fight can happen between Jiren and Goku. Um, whether this happens right off the rip, that's a different story. But I think that's why people are upset. Now, also, I want to talk about something else that's more just as important. Now, now I want to make sure that I'm 100% I'm, I'm into this idea. Now, the categories were released. Now, a lot of people had dropped out a couple of theories. Now, especially... Uh, a great YouTuber that I, I, I watch all the time, or I still watch every now and then with, when I can, uh, from like Rhyme Style, Nanogenics, you know, a couple of guys like Vivian Ichigo, etc., and people like those, and that, that still play, you know, you know, the up, update on, on LR Blue Vegito. Now, I don't want to talk about them anymore, so I want to keep it simple and and post on the on the stuff that's... So, I don't want to talk about LR Blue Vegito, but I, I, I kind of have to, um, because... Now, he, Nano brought up a great theory, and uh, he 100% uh, deserves all the credit for that theory, obviously. Um, he brought up the theory that they released a category system for a reason, because he even brought up the fact that they're releasing certain characters a lot earlier than expected. Now, which could mean that they're going to make... Now, I'm not sure. He said it himself, too, that he wasn't sure, that he, he, he doesn't want to make it sound like it's true... But this could mean that they could be making LR Blue Vegito a category leader, like the first ever LR category leader. Now, how it's going to play out, it's a whole different ballgame. Now, how this will work to its advantages is something that I think will be interesting to see, of course, because we all want to know what kind of unit this card will have its advantages of, what kind of you know, abilities it'll have. Obviously, it's, we all know it's going to be the physical blue Vegito we have, the uh, the physical blue super blue Vegito that we have. Obviously, we all know that because we voted for him. Uh, but the biggest thing that I feel people are, are anticipating for this, uh, this unit is that they want to see, you know, the LR come out. Obviously, everybody wants to see that LR come out because everybody wants this LR. And I 100% agree with you. I want to see that LR come out. I definitely want this uh, unit to come out. You know, we've waited so long for this unit. Um, but also, it, it kind of puts me into a, a very hard uh, thinking, you know, process. Because I feel like, how much longer do we have to wait? Now, other than the fact that they released the category system so early, like, like Nano said. And, of course, bringing up the fact that they might do that. Because that's a very awesome idea. I think that would be pretty cool. You know, and essentially them releasing, you know, uh, Gogeta INT, Strength Janimba, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, and Go Tanks Physical, you know, and Tech Broly, Super Saiyan 3, and then of course, Dokkan Awakening, all the other Broly's we have 
not the bullies that are that are already awakened to 120, but like the physical one that we get that we can Dokkan awaken to Super Saiyan 3 is what I meant. So that's something to look forward to, uh, obviously. And um, I feel that if you guys are looking forward to seeing this happen, or if it does happen, or if it doesn't happen, then I, again, don't want to feel like if, if it is going to go down the way it should be going down, then I guess I can understand. But I also don't want to be the guy that says, well, what if it doesn't show up? And what if it doesn't come out? Then we're just like sitting here like a bunch of ducks wondering when, where, and how is this going to happen? But again, again, now I, I don't want to make it sound like I, I'm sure of this, but I also don't know whether or not they're going to be releasing such information on this or if they are going to release information about this because obviously JP has been getting a lot of great updates, including a hard mode for Dokkan Z mode to awaken certain characters. The ones we have like Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, uh, a couple other cards that can go to 140, not 150 like LRs, but they can go uh, past Transcended you are. I mean, Transcend you are. So I think that that's something to be looking forward to. I don't know what they're going to call it. Uh, I can only speculate to what I know, but it'll be interesting to see um, what kind of uh, card or, you know, what kind of <laughs> uh, abilities that this will, will go into. But I still I still believe, right, that if this, you know, happens, ho hopefully it happens soon, we see, you know, what kind of abilities and what kind of categories and stuff that this card will will have linkables and stuff like that obviously it'll still have all the all the simple links like legendary uh legendary link super saiyan you know uh power bestowed by, by, by the gods and stuff like that but uh, i don't know again i i don't want to talk too much about li blue vegeto because i hopefully hope that they do come out with information and of course the categories and stuff like that but of course I know what I was talking about. I just lost track of it. Uh, I was talking about the JP side about their new system that they're doing to Dokkan Awaken, like the Transcend URs to 140. Um, so that's kind of hopefully what we expect to see happen in, in global eventually. Now, a lot of these things are going to come to global, and I've made many points about that, that, you know, they are coming, they are coming, they are coming, and it's going to take a while to get here, but it'll come eventually. Um, also, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of... The theories on Dragon Ball Super that's coming out tomorrow for one episode 115 and then of Ultra Instinct Goku coming back so early or why do you feel that he shouldn't have come back so early against Kefla? Uh, if you guys have any theories or want to throw some theories around, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are of this and uh, I will definitely, definitely read them and give you my thoughts. Uh, I just wanted to make this video because I honestly want to talk about it and I want to discuss this with you and I feel like if anybody deserves to you know kind of comprehend it's the fans of Dragon Ball Super obviously those are the people that are gonna matter the most to or toward this you know because if you watch the same episodes we all watch obviously we wait till like 9 30 4 9 40 or 10 to, to watch the next episode most episodes after they air in Japan they release them to to the Crunchyroll app or uh the legal way, no legal. Buy your buy your anime stuff and don't don't ever do it illegally. That's wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, we all wait to see those episodes and it's gonna be interesting. And of course, uh, discussing a little bit about LR Blue Vegito. Um, hopefully, we see some stuff happening. Also, we did get some Dokkan Awakenings on the um, global side with uh, Goku Great Ape Physical getting a Dokkan Awaken to 120. I uh, just Dokkan Awaken him and I finally got that Goku that does the Kamehameha wave with his feet. Which is pretty dope because I did love that character when he fought King Piccolo and I wanted him for a little bit. And uh, I couldn't get him in the World Tournament because he was, uh, as I would say, uh, a pain in my Kanishk. And uh, I didn't want to get him because obviously he was um, just a hard summon to get. But uh, of course I am happy to be uh, fortunate to get him finally because I've wanted that unit for a little while. And, uh, oh, that Goku, black. What the hell am I going but I was fortunate to get that unit. I liked him a lot. He had a pretty cool uh, st stunner. He was a stunner. And he can hold his own against physical types. Uh, against uh, INT types, obviously. Uh, so, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. So, I, I was very happy to see that. Um, but also, thank you guys so much for hanging out. The World Tournament is out. I am going to record a little bit like I am right now. Recording a little bit of the Dokkan Battle World Tournament here. Um, having a great time. Having some fun. Playing Dokkan Battle. 
Uh, I just wanted to talk about that. And of course, make sure you guys check out my sponsors, guys. I really would appreciate it if you guys check out all the links in the description below, including my gear. You guys can use code GOES for 10% off. If you guys want to purchase it, go to www.swordog.com slash F1G. And of course, if you guys want to purchase some great stuff from Jerky XP and Gamer Crates, the links are both in the description below. Use code GOES for 10% off off Jerky XP. Use code GOES for 5% off on your Gamer Crates. And of course, if you guys want to support my good friends over on Viewster, Go ahead and check those guys out and let them know that the Ghost Man sent you because those guys are absolutely amazing. They have great anime for free, literally for free. But of course, they did uh, link up with Hulu so that you have some uh, up-to-date anime, of course, but you have to have Hulu, so you have to subscribe to Hulu and then have Viewster together so you can watch it there and etc. So they can have all the most updated anime for you guys to watch off the Viewster app. If you guys want to purchase some Omakases, you feel free to do so and let them know once more that the homie sent you. Um, but also... Aside from that, I also want to say this. Make sure you slap a like on this very video, and I will do a reaction. I'll do one reaction of your choice. Now, I got to be careful with what I watch because of copyright. People tend to get a little bit angry when you review something that isn't your original content, but then there is you know, fair use, and of course, I, I will mention that in the video under fair use that I'm reviewing this as fair use, obviously, so that I don't get a copyright strike, obviously, and uh, I will select the video of whatever choice you have in the bottom of the description below, and I will review it once. I don't want to be that guy that does those weird review channel stuff. No, I don't I don't want to be that. I want to stick to my upload content and my Dokkan battle content. That's all I want to focus on, but uh, if I get a lot of likes on this video, I will most definitely... You know, upload a, a quick uh, video on that if you guys want it. Of course, I always want to do what you all support me on. And I will try my best to do for all of you guys that support me. And I know this is becoming a really long video, but I love talking to you. And I love supporting the Dokkan community all the time. And it's it's just, it's been, uh, it's been crazy, man. It's been, it's been crazy. And I love playing the World Tournament a little bit. Not always. But there is a really cool Vegito that I really kind of want, and I don't want to lose track on that unit. But again, it is going to be difficult because you need Dragon Stones to continue onward. And I got a couple. I got about a couple here and there. Um, I, I kind of want to keep it low level so that I can keep going and grinding if I have to. Um, I want to keep playing because I was doing it last night. I got like about three or four wins, and I'm just go going on now and going in as much as I can. Uh, local rank six, uh, the overall rank thirty three thousand. I gotta get it back up a little bit so that I can or lower. Pardon me, not not go up, <laughs> obviously. So um, yeah, so that's that's what I'm gonna try to keep doing is is lowering the number so I can keep going down. And of course, the local ranks can stay up, and I'll have a lot of trophies and stuff and <laughs> and other good stuff. Having all the LR Brolies, gotta love LR Broly. Let's work. <laughs> Also, another thing I, I, I do want to bring up before I even forget. Um, Eminem dropped a new uh, song with Beyonce, and I just listened to it. Um, people are going to say that it's not the Eminem they kind of remember when he was just straight bars. And he, he always drops bars. There's no no question about that. But this is a, a very, very cool song. I feel like it, it speaks a different tone, obviously, with Beyonce being on the track, which she sounds phenomenal. Uh, I would say recommendably listen to the song, literally listen to it a couple times, even if you have to. I've listened to it maybe three or four times just after this video was starting to record. I, I started listening to it, and I, I quite honestly, I, I cannot hate Eminem. He was always one of my favorite rappers, and he always will be one of my favorite rappers. But uh, take a two, take a took a quick minute to listen to that uh, that song that he released with her. It's already out on Spotify, uh, Tidal, YouTube. Check it out. It's all there. Uh, let me know what your thoughts and opinions of that song is. Uh, I'll say it right here, right now. It's a phenomenal song. I loved it. Um, I, I, I like the different tone that he took with it, you know, because Eminem was always very, very aggressive with his bars, and he was very vicious with his bars. And he's, he's always going to be that guy that always drops a very heavy, uh, you know, track whenever he has to or if he needs to because he always has it in his back pocket. He's like, he's that kind of guy that if you mess with him too much, he'll, he'll come after you. And there's not a thing you can do about it because he'll make sure that you you get the L quick. You know, that's how Eminem is. You know, he, He's the guy that drops those quick bars. But anyway, check that song out. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it as well so you guys can give me your honest thoughts on it. I honestly say, uh, great song. Loved it. Uh, it isn't something I, I, did, I didn't... Um, I quite honestly didn't expect that, but I did like it because, of course, this is going back to where 
he started from with the re-up, you know, um, and then the relapse and the recovery and all the all the songs like that going into it. And of course, you know, him going into talking about his uh, drug addiction and stuff like that that he had to go through for a long time. Uh, it was very sad, but he, he, he got stronger. He got better. You know, I'm very happy for him. He was, again, one of my favorite rappers of all time. He will always be one of my favorite rappers of all time. Um, I also want to say, if you if you guys want... Because the thing is, I haven't done an anime review, and I want to do some. So what I'll do is, I'll record an anime, an anime review on Sunday. I'll have it ready <laughs> by Tuesday, because I'm going to record another video on another channel next week. So it'll be fun. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to finish these uh, these last fights here. I'm going to go to the finals and win. Uh, I say that like I'm going to, but I, I probably will. Because, you know, there's a lot of times you got to be careful because these these guys will drop a super on you or they have an LR Broly and they'll just drop a super on you. You're just like, what? And you're sitting there like, what just happened? Oh, you, you took an L. Oh, I got beat by that one guy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, gotta be careful. Hey, Supreme Kai tier, let's go, baby. Let's keep it going. Yay! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, this is great. Uh, I'll get you. I'll send more. I I gotta have them because if <laughs> what is that? Is that Dragonstone? Oh, that's five more Dragonstones. Yes, that's what I need. More Dragonstones. Yes. <laughs> oh man, this is this is this is dope. <laughs> I've never had. Thing is, I, again, I, I I don't like playing World Tournament too too much, but when I get that groove and I feel like playing it, I, I usually will sit here and play it. Um, but it is a long video, and I do apologize if it's extending a little too long. Um, but I, I just I just wanted to play the World Tournament, and I wanted to play a little bit with you here, all of you guys that are just chilling watching the this hype video. And I do appreciate if you guys stood this long watching the video, watching the World Tournament fight, uh, seeing where I stand right now. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to go super, super hard and I could not have asked it any, for any better. I, I want them to go as, as, as hard as they can in this game, of course, in the world tournament, but don't go too hard where you get sick. No, I don't want that. I want you guys to play semi healthy. Okay. Not going to, I don't mean say semi healthy, but like, don't go too hard is what I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. Don't, don't go heavy. <laughs> um, also I, I want to say. Uh, if you guys want, also as well, I keep bringing up things that you guys should do, but <laughs> but uh, if you guys want to, there is uh, a, the, a video that I uploaded a while back that I did of Eureka 7, and uh, their movies are coming out soon, so if you guys want to rewatch those videos, feel free to do so because those videos are uh, absolutely one of my favorites that I've uploaded, of course, with the clan ad reviews and all uh, the other anime reviews that I'm going to be you know, I've done before and I'm going to keep going to do. So it's pretty insane. So check them out if you can, if you have time, of course. Um, so you guys can check them out, enjoy them, like them. So, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'll do some summons for you guys. I figured, why not? Is that, a, is that a guaranteed SSR ticket? That is two silver guaranteed SSR tickets. Beautiful. Let's get these tickets. Oh, oh, I got 11 Dragonstones. All right, let's do two YOLOs. Uh, I'll save the one to do the tournament again. I'll do it later tonight. Um, but thank you guys all for so much support on the videos. I really do appreciate it. Let's do a summon. Oh, don't go Super Saiyan. Oh, he went Super Saiyan. What a turkey sandwich with biscuits. Can you go Super Saiyan 3? And he doesn't go Super Saiyan 3, but he went rainbow. So I guess I'll get something pretty decent. I got an SR pan. Oh, this game really hates me. <laughs> All right, one more, one more. Oh. 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 Come on, buddy. Go, go Super Saiyan 3 for the boy. For the for the supporters. Uh can I get an SSR? No, I got a out suit. Damn it. Alright, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Figure I'd do some YOLOs. Let's get it. See you next time, guys. Peace.